What are your thoughts about the preseason? Uh, we thought it was good. We, we were happy with some of the things that we wanted to see from the guys. We, we implemented a lot of system and structure play in the practices during the preseason and we wanted to see the guys that could that could build that into their game, the guys that were thinkers and the guys that could do it at a high pace. And I think we, we put the idea in their head and it, it's, it's been a good thing for us because guys are, it's, it's one of those things, it's getting better every day and, and the guys are really buying into it and they see that when we do it properly it works. What are your expectations against Couch and Nanaimo? I think they're going to be two real competitive games. Uh, I think the Island Division is going to be real tough this year. I, I think they're going to be fast-paced, physical, hard-working games. I think it's going to be a good challenge for our guys to open the season on the road. What will Cole Demers bring to the Bulldogs? Cole's a very good goalie in this league. He's, he's an experienced guy. I think he's going he's gonna to push John. Him and John will be a good battle for, for starts on any given night, but he gives us stability in, in, in net. I, I think over the years in this league, any team that's won at the end of the day has got two guys in, in net they can go to on any given night. So I think that was important for us, and we were lucky when Cole came available that we were able to get on top of that. How are you preparing your new team for the home opener against the Victoria Grizzlies? We're not even thinking that far ahead right now. We're worried about tomorrow night in Cowichan and starting off well there. I think, you know, come come Monday, Tuesday next week, once we get the video from these two games all, all set, and we'll start talking about Victoria and getting prepared for that one. But right now we're focusing on the next game. Can you talk about the Paul Selleck trade? Uh, yeah, it was, it, was it was a tough decision. I mean, it came down to we had seven imports in camp and we could only keep six. Uh, Paul was an exceptional, exceptional player for us last year exceptional human being, great in the community and a real popular teammate and it was a it was a real tough one to do but one of the things we wanted to do was find Paul an opportunity where he was going to get a chance to play a little more than he probably was here and go to a good program with a good coach and I think we did that and we gave Paul a chance to continue his, his journey towards a scholarship this year. Thanks Matt. Anytime.